This summer, more tourists than ever will head out on cruises leaving from the Port of Seattle. The industry accounts for about 700,000 visitors each cruise season and has added 1,000 jobs and a payroll of $55 million to the Puget Sound economy. But maritime commerce has an important consequence, the air pollution from the exhaust of hundreds of ships entering Elliott Bay each month add greenhouse gas emissions to the atmosphere. This boosts the impact of climate change. Maritime exhaust can be some of the dirtiest, and most big ships never shut down engines while in port, since vital systems must be kept running, even while tied up to the dock. The cruise industry has increased trips from Seattle 100-fold since 1999, and brings with it some of the newest, most modern ships in the world. Technology and some infrastructure upgrades at Pier 30's cruise terminal will go a long way to reduce the impacts of air pollution and help City Light reach its goal of becoming greenhouse gas neutral by the end of 2005. The utility teamed up with the Port of Seattle and Princess Cruise Lines to make changes to allow some of its luxury liners to shut down their engines while in port and connect up to use City Light electricity. City Light will buy the greenhouse gas offsets created when the ships don't have to run their generators. It might seem like an easy goal to just plug in the ship as you might any appliance. With five dining rooms, nightclubs, bars, and 24-hour room service, the Diamond Princess uses about the same amount of electricity as any large downtown hotel. Yeah, this is Diamond Princess, yes, uh, I gave you permission here. Yeah. Therefore, closing line with TV breaker. So it takes a lot of coordination to add that kind of electric load when the ship comes in and then subtract it when the ship leaves. The partners celebrated this accomplishment recently alongside the ship. The Environmental Protection Agency helped fund the costs of putting in the extra equipment and the Port of Seattle worked with City Light and Princess Cruise Lines to make the necessary changes. By purchasing the greenhouse gas offsets, the utility looks on the cruise line as both a new customer and also a partner in reducing greenhouse gas emissions. It, uh, it truly was a community effort and uh, I think that Seattle should be uh, commended for uh, having leaders that are able to see an opportunity and to put together a collaboration to really uh, brings us a, such a successful and exciting project to fruition here. Just the mere fact that we're the second place in the world to have done this uh, speaks highly about the area's commitment to, uh, to, to working responsibly with the environments. These are measurable improvements according to Port Commission President Bob Edwards. Each ship using shore power will avoid burning 35 tons of fuel each time it's in port, saving 1,400 tons of fuel over a cruise season. And that's equal to taking 1,100 cars off the road for a year. Every reduction in greenhouse gases helps the utility reach its important goal. And by relying on a series of projects, uh, including internal efforts on the part of the utility, uh, and this project being an important one of those, we've been able to achieve by the end of this year zero greenhouse gas emissions from all operations that City Light is involved in. Since Seattle is only the second port in the world to provide service like this to cruise ships, other port cities are now looking at the possibility of taking similar steps to improve air quality and the environment. Once again, Seattle leads the way. I'm Sharon Bennett for Seattle City Light.